How can I prove that Allah Almighty created me to test me? It's quite simple. None of us has the full package, not one. No one has the full package, no matter who you are, no matter what you have, it's not the full package. You will definitely have some things and you will not have some things. You might have some things that facilitate for you a, an easy life in certain aspects on earth, but some things others will have that do not have what you have. It's amazing. That's Allah. So you have a person really wealthy, but sometimes maybe they have family problems and you have someone who's not so wealthy, but they have the best family relationships. And then you have someone really good looking, but they just can't find the spouse. And then you have someone who the world considers mediocre. And why I say the world considers me mediocre is because the world can say this is pretty. This is not so pretty. And that keeps changing over time. You know, long back it was a little bit different now it's becoming a little bit different but Allah's created everyone pretty and handsome and good-looking in their own right so to say the world considers someone good-looking yet they may have an issue and a problem in some other aspect of their lives when people look at you they might think I don't think this person has a single problem agreed but you know that I have so many problems, so many issues. I struggle with my children. Sometimes I struggle with my parents, my in-laws, my health, my work, my whatever it might be. It is never that you can have the full package because perfection is for Jannah. It's for paradise. If Allah, if Allah had created perfection for this earth and this worldly life, there would be no purpose in creating paradise. But he wants us to go through challenges. I want to tell you something. How many of us think that I've got so many problems. I just wish I didn't have these problems. Well, it's good. You make dua to Allah. You call out to Allah. You cry to him. You get closer to him because you have problems. At times, if you didn't have those problems, you wouldn't get closer to him. But what you don't realize, and this is a very deep point. Sometimes as a result of doors that Allah closed for you, he's opened for you what he actually gave you beyond other people. So say, for example, you're a very wealthy person. One example, just an example. You're a very wealthy person. Perhaps that wealth has come to you because it's part of your package where Allah did not give you certain things and you asked Allah and you cried to Allah and you got close to Allah and you were patient for certain things. And because of that patience, Allah opened other doors. Allah says, indeed, in Surah al sharh indeed, with hardship comes ease, not necessarily the same ease not necessarily connected to that hardship. It could be a different ease. One hardship in your life could have opened a door somewhere behind that you didn't realize was connected to this hardship. So thank Allah. If you can manage what Allah's put in your direction while asking Allah to alleviate it and working towards its alleviation, keep thanking him because it's only if you thank him that you're going to get more. Many of us don't realize Allah put a problem in your life that you can manage. And there's nobody on earth who doesn't have a problem. So if he takes that one away, he has to give you another one because you have to have something at least that you're tested by throughout your life from the beginning to the end. It's either big or small. If you can manage something and you're coping with something, remember to thank Allah for it because it could have been bigger than what it is. It could have been worse. Aren't we as believers taught that whenever something goes wrong in your life, you should say, it could have been worse and thank Allah. You went through some challenge. You lost a job. You lost a limb, your health. Perhaps you struggled with your health. You tell Allah, oh Allah, I thank you. It could have been worse. It's not easy to thank Allah when you're in hardship, but that is one of the ways to remedy the heart. 